Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I will start off by saying that I'm standing on all existing protocols. Um, it's been a very interesting time so far. Now, um, if you know a lot about ADVAN, you know that three of ADVAN's key pillars um, speak to um, visionary thought leadership, knowledge sharing and capacity building, as well as data and research and insight. So what we just want to do briefly is to just share a piece of thought leadership. I know time is spent and you are eating. So I just want to talk about a piece of thought leadership that Kanta, um, the company that I represent, my name is Aki Afere, I'm a director in Kanta, um, and the World Federation of Advertisers did. Um, the World Federation of Advertisers, the global body of which Advan is the partner organization in Nigeria. Now, what we have done, um, that study is called Sustainable Marketing 2030. And the idea of the study is to look at um, the role of marketing and marketers as yourselves in the communication of sustainability. Right now, the case for sustainability has already been made, so I won't go into that. But the point, I, one of the key points I want to highlight is that for the top brands globally, sustainability is adding value to the value of the brands and the business. A case in point, a study that we do in Kanta called the Kanta Brands E. Last year alone, the top 100, top 10 brands, top 100 brands in that study generated $198 billion on sustainability initiatives alone. Now, so the idea here of this study, this thought leadership is that we need to rethink the way we view the marketing function as well as the things that we, want, we need to do. So there's, there's, there's a role that marketing has to play. Now, that role requires us shifting our mentality from the typical way we view marketing um, as part of purchase and use and the sale of that to view marketing as part of a circular framework, every step of the value chain, right? Which is part of what we've been talking about here so far. Now, there are a number of opportunities because equally as important as sustainability initiatives or businesses is how those initiatives are communicated and the stories that we tell so that those initiatives add value to our businesses and brands. So there are a couple of opportunities and those opportunities, interestingly, also speak to collaboration with the public sector as well. For example, you can look at how we educate, better educate people about their choices and actions how we innovate right to create competitive advantage for businesses how we expand marketing opportunities for us in a way that it validates the value chain that we use and that benefits both the advertisers the marketing practitioners as well as the marketers itself okay now why does this area of sustainability concern nigerians because we experience it all over the place from pollution to weather events to rising inflation costs. We all feel it. So it's important, right? And what is our role to just bring this? What are the implications for us as a marketing function um, and marketers? This thought leadership, we polled marketers around the world. And one of the things that was said by the marketers that were polled is that brands and businesses need to be bolder in communicating their sustainability initiatives. It shouldn't be just internal imperatives, all right? We need to be bolder in the things that we're able to talk about. Because like I said, the better we tell the stories of what we are doing, sustainability-wise, the more value our businesses can derive from those initiatives. And that benefits everyone who is a part of the marketing value chain, right? So I will end with this, which is why I said they should just project this. Now, the full paper, I, I mean, um, which I was, I was presented, will be circulated by Advan. But this is particularly important. Now, when this piece of thought leadership was done, it was global, like I said. It was done by the World Federation of Advertisers, right? And Advan is the member association in Nigeria. Now, so the study is being reopened because it is very critical for the thoughts of the marketers 
and the marketing practitioners on the region, that's the Middle East and Africa, which includes, of course, Nigeria, for us to get accurate data on your perception, on your position, on your opinions of what the future of marketing is as it regards sustainability initiatives. So if you would like to participate, you can scan the QR code on your phone. It's a short 10-minute survey, right? Just the QR code, if you can see it, scan it. And um, the advanced secretariat, of course, will also circulate the invite as well as the full paper. Now, I should mention this, that the Sustainability Marketing 2030 report is available for free on the WFA website. It's available on the Kanta website, and we've shared that report as well with Advan for circulation. So you can deep dive into it and learn about it and look at the opportunities that are available to your businesses uh, as marketers and practitioners. Thank you very much for having us. Um, thank you so much, and have a good afternoon. I was very snappy. A round of applause for him one more time. And we have come to the...